Iconic design is a work of architecture that fulfills you in ways that you didn't even know you needed or wanted, and in ways that you certainly didn't expect. My name is Barbara Lamprecht. I'm an architectural historian and a scholar of the work of Richard Neutra. I'm Sarah Lorenzen. I'm the chair of the architecture department at Cal Poly Pomona and I'm also director of the Neutra Video Research House. The Neutra Video House was Richard Neutra's primary residence from 1932 until his death in 1970. It was where he lived and worked. It's also a house that represents uh, three distinct periods of his architectural career, very early Neutra, mid-career Neutra, and then late Neutra style. He's really considered sort of one of the great international style modernist architects. He came from Vienna, so he brought with him a, a sense of international modernism. But then it was adapted to the California climate, to the California lifestyle. The video is a really exciting place. And it's one of the very earliest instances where that indoor-outdoor synthesis, that melding, you know, that was, that was critical. That was, that was not because nature was romantic, nature was requisite. Unlike most houses that might just have a front door and a back door, that this property has 12 exterior doors and that no matter where you are, you can walk outside. And that's really about acknowledging the climate and the environment that we live in. There's also water uh, pools everywhere, which are also used for their reflective properties, right? The way that the trees shimmer on the surface of the water and also the way that you see the you know, clouds reflected. And that in itself also makes the house feel extremely light. In nature, we have all the ornament that we need. So Neutra's idea is don't try to compete with that. Neutra was very interested in technology and in having houses that really were of the period that they were in and also in creating environments that would make people's lives easier. And, you know, especially at, at this time, sort of modernists in general believed that the technology was one of the ways that we could improve humanity. So we recently had the Nest Cam Outdoor installed in the front of the house and these, these cameras actually give us peace of mind. That's primarily for security reasons. We have a lot of people who are interested in coming to this house. This way, when people arrive, we can get an alert uh, at the back house so that we know that somebody's here. The neighborhood is so curious and tourists are so intent on coming in that if they are unlocked, they will come in and make themselves at home. So the cameras do give us an opportunity to keep an eye on who's coming in and out of the house. I remember so often that people would want to visit the house and they'd knock at the door and Mrs. Neutra would definitely allow people up and she always wanted people to be on the rooftop but you had to be sitting down so that your eye would effortlessly join the flooding of the, the, the roof the, with water and Silver Lake Reservoir behind. This building could be referred to as iconic because it represents an idea about technology, about progress, about a kind of environmental awareness, about making houses that would make people have a more healthful way of life.